Photo balloons. Let's Hi. see how to make them. I'm Bob Crumwitty with Photo USA, and I'm going to demonstrate how to make a photo balloon. First thing we're going to do is design whatever we'd like to show up on the balloon, and we're going to print it out on a standard inkjet compatible printer material, which looks like this. It's actually got the balloon built into the cardboard carrier. This is my small balloon, and this is my large balloon. My small balloon is this size when it's inflated, and my large balloon is this size when it's inflated. Now we're printing the first side of the balloon. The inkjet material is dry on contact, so as soon as I finish printing the first side of the balloon, I can flip it and put it back into the printer to print the second side, or I can simply take it and work it, tear it out, and blow it up, which is what we'd be able to do here in one second. That's pretty quick. So as you can see, it's dry on contact, no ink on my fingers. Mm -hmm. I start here at the valve and tear along the pre-perforated edges of my balloon. Then I open up the bottom. First I crease the flaps so that I can easily open them. I insert this small piece, the long end first. Okay. Goes inside the balloon like this. Flush with the bottom. Then I take two cups that have notches two on them. Two half cups. Two half cups that have notches that line up with the inside pieces. And I press those together, hold them firm, and then I attach my straw. Aha, uh -huh. that holds it all together? So the straw holds it all together. Start it, <coughs> push it up, and the balloon is finished other than the final step. Okay. I now and have a photo balloon completely personalized and customized for your customer. And the self-seal valve automatically there, seals There's when a self-seal valve. After a month or so, it might deflate slightly. You simply give it more air. I print with very high quality five-year inks, so this is a permanent keepsake that will basically last forever. If you would like to scrapbook it, you simply take it apart, pull out the plastic insert, take the standard coffee stir straw, uh -huh. Put it up inside the middle of the balloon. Pass the one-way valve opening, which is usually easier, except when you're doing a demo. And then I can simply deflate my balloon. You can feel the air coming out. And now I can put this in a scrapbook or reuse this later by simply blowing it back up again. That's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.